Hey everybody, it's PC here, and welcome to another episode of Captain of Industry. And as you can see, I have been very busy. I've been very busy trying to keep this boat afloat, to be quite honest. Uh, I did have some... Okay, that's not, it's just not enough maintenance thing. Uh, I did have some issues with uh, some groundwater. That's what this whole new addition that you're going to see is all about. Um, but the way it works is, if I get the groundwater pump... It'll show water, uh, like a water table. Now, what I didn't realize at first was that there was a certain amount of water that could be pulled out of the ground at one time. And this is the water t the water reserve. Uh, the water reserve does fill up as it rains, but you can only take out so much water in a given amount of time before it runs dry and I was having water problems. So I already had uh, the desalination process uh, uh, being researched. That's a uh, thermal desalination uh, Evaporation ponds, is uh, uh, the seawater pump, and that's what these are here. They pull in seawater in from the ocean, and they run them into uh, thermal desalinators, which uses steam, which I have some steam set up here, being fed with coal coming all the way from over there, and, and then it's uh, taking water, which I also have to pump back in here, which I sort of think, no. I have another line coming through here to do, deal with that, and that output steam, which goes into here, which takes the, the, take the seawater, and the steam turns into water and uh, water and brine. Uh, the water comes out this pipe here. Uh, it should come out this pipe, and it goes out to a uh, big holding tank here. I set up a big tank here for buffer trying to like i said try to keep everything balanced and then the brine goes into these evaporation ponds there's a standard pond and there's a heated pond i'm using the heated pond because it as you can see it's twice as fast now this was doing okay for now until this started backing up but there's more than just this there is these conveyor lines all the way to these toppers over here now the salt does actually have a use and we're actually going to be getting into that today we are going to go into the mixer we're going to start making glass mix. I need sand for that, I need limestone, and I need salt. And the salt, as you can see, uh, comes from the evaporation pond. It's the only place you can actually get it. We can get. Uh, I can make the acid too, to get more glass mix out of the, the ingredients, which is sulfur and water. Now, I could do that, but one, we're having a water issue as it is, and two, uh, we're also having a build up of the diesel because if uh, let me uh, move this out of the way actually I uh, ended up putting a bigger storage setup I guess you could say of the diesel as you can see we've got 13,000 barrels of it uh, I could go ahead and start trading it to ports and stuff like that we, we could actually use it for the rubber uh, the rubber has another second secondary recipe recipe uh, recipe and it's for diesel and sulfur now I do have a large amount of sulfur here we can use. Uh, I think the only other thing I can use that for is making the acid. Uh, the acid, let's get back into here. Uh, the acid, let's like get rid of that. Uh, gets, it's made with sulfur, sulfur and water like I said and can be used to get more copper out of the refining process, uh, more glass mix and then down the line you can get into like morphine and uh, Oh yeah, uh, refining ores and stuff like that, it's just, yeah, this is getting into a little deep, so we're just going to turn that into rubber, we take that, we take this, and we're going to turn it into rubber, and that way, as long as I have an apple storage for the rubber, and as long as we're going to be uh, making things with the rubber, then I shouldn't have to worry about this backing up, if, the, if I can't produce fuel, this whole system shuts down, uh, these are cooling tanks, they're taking the uh, uh, low steam coming off the generators, or the, the turbines, and turning them back into water, which goes back into here, which supplies the whole system. So basically everything is being watered by this refinery. Uh, as far as research goes, everything has been sort of done right up to what we're at right now. I do need to... I thought I had that unlocked already. Um, what was the, the recipe already on the, the concrete? The crushed leg. Yeah, okay, we'll hold off on that for now. Anyway, 
Uh, well, I was going to actually do that, but we don't need it at the moment. Uh, actually, do I? We do. Hmm. That means I have to re everything up again. Uh, but basically what I was going to do is uh, I have done a little bit more exploration. I did find a sulfur mill, which I'm not too worried about. I was thinking about getting into the, the ship engine so we can go further. Uh, so we can find more towns, so we can find more locations. But since I have to re, re everything up again, we'll probably leave that other list. We're going to go ahead and all the way back over here and research this which should have been researched um, kind of low on population right now so i'm going to get one uh research facility going now i thought about getting into this too because this is uh gets a cracking unit and uh allows me to reuse some of the diesel but maybe we won't need it right now if we return it to rubber I uh, don't care about that. We've got the heavy machines already. Uh, edX I'm not too worried about. I was thinking about getting chicken farming too because uh, it's going to help with unity production. But maybe not. Uh, I did. I think I did this after the last episode which just got some more vehicles. Uh, here's a nap to processing. So uh, I'm getting getting left with light oil which I'm actually using to generate steam. I can take that light oil turn and nap that in fuel gas. Fuel gas can be used in... Uh, the rotary gas kiln to produce faster concrete. I'm not too worried about that, really. Uh, I, right now, I, or it can be used in uh, making steam production. And what was the other one? I can also get the naphtha from the cracking unit, too. But there is a, a third stage distilling process. Now, uh, the, sorry. Uh, the, distil the third stage distilling process would basically be. Uh, the third stage distilling process would basically go in behind the second stage. So it'd be first stage, second stage, stage, third stage. So it, realistically, I couldn't actually work it in here. So I'd have to rebuild it. I think once I get all the salt moved, which is going to be going... I think I've been set, thinking about setting up the glassworks over here because I got all this limestone here. I got the glass there. I've got all the rock coming in from the quarry here. Uh, thinking about even piping all the stone in from over here, over there as well, seeing what here, a stone and gravel, and then we can get all that ground up at the same time. Uh, oh, yeah. Now, I was uh, something I didn't know about this whole copy tool, and this is actually quite interesting. I take the copy tool once I select it, you can actually copy pre existing builds. There you go. I can double up my refinery just like that. So, that was, I thought that was a pretty, pretty interesting. So, when it comes time to actually add the third tier into it, if I decide to, it is there. I can see I'm already getting a buildup of light oils, so that might be a good idea. I did put a second uh, turbine on here, or boiler on here. And it is doing okay, but, you know, we're running out of steam, and because we're not generating any pop, not using power, and these, not, you know what I mean. I might even try to get this hooked up into the steam system once I get it a little more processed. Uh, another thing I have done, too, is I have successfully filled it, reclaimed a chunk of land. Uh, let me move this out of the way. Uh, so what I did is I set up a couple of excavators here. They dug out all the trash that I had built up here. And I got them to build a little jetty here. And I was actually able to put the trading post here. Which was good because uh, it wasn't working there anymore. Now the reason why I wanted to try that to see if it would work. Is because what I want to do is I want to get that lumber mill set up. And I've been thinking about where I want to get it set up. Now since I want to sort of use this area as like a main... Uh, construction part material like might even go all the way up to tier threes if I need to because that was a fairly simple process I think uh, I need the concrete the concrete we get from uh, cement and slag and water we're gonna be producing iron here so we're gonna get the slag from there and then the rubber uh, hang on a second here let me get this out of the way. Uh, rubber, it's diesel and sulfur. And all I really have to do is just get pipe all that all the way up here. Get a whole bunch of rubber makers up here. And then we, there we go. We don't have any wastewater to deal with. So that's going to get our rubber for our, uh, our electronics. Uh, there is copper over here. I could even set up another setup on this side so we could be mining from both ends. Have that even processed up here. And ported down and then gone, gone to the row of, row of assemblies 
And as you can see, you don't really see much of it now, but there's a huge chunk of coal right here. Plus a lot of stone too. So that is going to be real good. Uh, for the time being though, I think what I want to do, because I want to keep everything going, is I want to actually redesign the rubber and I want to get these. I think I, I think I can get six of them in here sideways, so let me redesign that and I'll be right back. Alright, that's actually going right now. Another thing I did too, as you can see, I've uh, set up two, two more farms. I, I got them all set, situated because I was having food problems. I have three farms going to this market over here, three farms going to this market over here. Uh, I did have the same same problem with the gravel being in the way. I had to take the excavators, dig up the, the gravel and replace it with dirt. But uh, this one was here for. Uh, de definitely an interesting mechanic. I do like it. It gives you a little bit of freedom, so that is good. Uh, we do have plenty of workers, so let's go ahead and actually get a couple of these research labs going so we can get our research done, so we can get our efficient concrete and stuff like that. Uh, at the same time, too, oh, we need mechanical parts. Uh, I have been going ahead and upgrading the ship bridge. I've got all the components being delivered there right now. Uh, they will get there eventually. What's going on here? Uh... What are you making? Oh yeah, you're making that. Do I not have... Hang on, what are you... Yeah, why don't I have mechanical parts? Oh, I have them all going in there, that's why. Hmm. Alright, well, let me get this worked out and I'll be right back. Okay, they are just finishing up now. Uh, I managed to get everything worked in. I found some redundant pipes and all that other things, stuff that I had to get rid of. So that is all in place. I do have them all, six of them all set up. They're ready to go. Just a matter of getting everything put together. And it turns out I actually had a line going right into these containers. Oh, we do have rubber. Uh, so that is good. Now, w one thing I want to do is figure out why these guys can't get anywhere. Now, why are you guys doing that? No, 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 no. Uh, that's one one thing I gotta try to get in the habit of doing is turning this import export off on these on these machines. Because uh, until the conveyors are built, the trucks actually try to go there and they get kind of confused. Uh, there was a couple of minor updates I think since uh, the last video. One of them just happens to be you can actually specifically tell the truck to go somewhere, and you hit this button, you say "go here." And it will go there so that's good uh, what I do want to do though is I want to start getting uh, some planning set up for this uh, this, um, this sawmill speaking of sawmill uh, where is it here there's a sulfur we we'll have there coal mine okay we'll look at that eventually and then we have this so we're gonna go ahead and start repairs on that over here, uh, it's actually one of the things they did too. Is you can actually move this. You can uh, move this to another location uh, if you don't want it here. I actually don't mind being here, so start loading the ship on that. We'll actually let, actually let them do their thing. Make sure everything holds up. Ooh, um, I go turn the conveyor back on. That's actually why I had this going because yeah, yeah, uh, maintenance is a big bit of an issue. That's not what I want to do. I want to turn this one back on. There we go. Alright, so this is where the mining is going to get quite interesting. So, what we're going to do is... Oh, it's already downloaded for the cart, uh, the sawmill. Alright, we're going to deliver you, and we're also going to get that other ship fixed while we're at it. And why did you go all the way over here? I have no idea. Alright, so I need a build mine control tower. Now I do want I believe the arrow has to specifically point the direction of the mine uh, to control the area. So I'm gonna add the area. Now as you can see the ship can or the The grid is sort of 90 degrees to this. Now, I'm wondering... Go ahead and pause this, actually. Okay, let's uh, hit the cargo 
deep one. I want to see if it actually gets any green on this side. It's one. Originally, I was thinking about doing it over here, but then as you can see, we get into the sandbar, and I want to try to keep as much of it green as I can. So I did two sides there. Nothing here, but if I go over here, then I get wide open spot. We're like right about here. Now, if I do that, though, that means I have all this stone I have to move out of the way. Or iron, actually. That's okay, because I think I made a couple of extra ex excavators. But if I decide to put it here, too, I can turn it the right way. As you can see, it's just clipping the cliff side. So we might actually be able to build the jetty off of here. That's what I'm thinking I'm going to do. Go ahead and edit the area. And let's do something like this without clicking into the menu. Okay, and there we go. Now, uh, we start with a digging area. Now, I believe, I think I worked it out that the, it was the second layer down, so it'd be plus two to where I can place it. All right. Now, I also do have to watch out for the tower itself. I should move it, because that will collapse if I'm not careful. All right, so we go to uh, mine control tower. Mine control, not mind control. Okay, we'll edit the area again. We'll start about here. The reason why I moved it is because uh, the terrain can collapse. The size of the area you size of the area you specify doesn't really matter. Uh, it's only if you have like multiple dig areas and you want, let's say, say you have like two mind control towers in the same area, but you only want one set of trucks working on one area, one set of trucks working on the other area, because this one will have a specific export route than the other one, for instance. Anyways, now for rambling, let's get to the digging. All right, now I, I did mess around with this a little bit, so it seems that you start with the two, and you just go ahead and get a better mouse is what I do. That's not what I want to do. What I need to do is, I think we're gonna go up this way here. So we'll start off with a little path like so. Alright, and then I'm gonna switch to the slope and somewhere you should give me give it to me. Not where are you? Is that it? Somewhere it gives me a slope a slope pad. There we go. Yeah, I go up like so, and believe it stops about there. Yes. And that should give me a nice, easy access point. We'll go ahead and carve it up here like so. Uh, I don't think the mining matters up top, but I'll clear it off anyway so the vehicles don't get confused. Alright, and then... Uh, Go back to flat. It's kind of hard to actually see what's going on here. Actually, that is not doing it right. Hang on. Do that. I want flat. Yes. I want to add two. There we go. Like so, now it's also going to be our dumping area. Do a nice little square like so. And maybe even a little bit more. We go ahead and we'll switch to dumping. And just like that, we drag it all the way out. Make a big old jetty out of, out of this. Back. That might be a little much, so let's take that off. And like so. Now, for the time being, I can't actually dump anything here, so we're not going to be dumping here at the moment. We are going to set up another control tower. This is just a temporary thing. 
Turn it and I'm gonna put you put you over here. Okay. And you could be dumping everything over there. Now you are gonna have a direct export route to this one. And you are gonna be getting a dumping area. And get a little bit of a slope here. Go like this. I'm not too sure. They usually just go up one level at a time, but we're going to be moving a lot of dirt and then we're going to move it back. Okay. So now I need vehicles. I have a lot of excavators and a whole lot of trucks. Hmm. I wonder how many trucks I'm going to need. Usually I try to go two to a two to an excavator, so I could probably take off four. This saves me workers. Okay. Now we'll get that going. Uh, yeah, you're dumping there and you are mining over here. Actually what I gotta do here is uh uh, take this off so you're not dumping here you're only dumping here all right we have the sawmill done so let's go check this out all right so the sawmill is producing us 1054 every time that's pretty good uh ship can't go anywhere else i don't think all right so we'll head back home get some circulation back into my arm and i'll be right back ah yes before i forget we gotta move this salt before we start having a serious problems with it. Uh, I try not to use the large storage because it's expensive, but we're gonna have to. Uh, do I really wanna use this? No, we're gonna go with this loose storage. And I think I'm just gonna make a whole line of them. Well, I'm gonna have to make a whole bunch of them actually. I'm gonna put it like so. One, two, three, four. Five. Uh, two, eight. Now we're gonna copy. And we're gonna paste it two times. <sighs> I actually wonder if this is gonna work. Let's try something here. Actually, keep it going. So those guys are going to have to do all the... That's actually what I can do is... You can do that. Aha. They don't build it. Uh, they got all that digging they got to do. I want to see if it actually copies the settings too. Actually, there is a... Uh, what was it here? Aha. Copy settings. Oh, it works. Cool. All right, now if we copy, does it copy the settings? No, doesn't. They didn't copy the planning mode either. All right. Simple enough. Copy. Oh, you can't drag and paint. That'd be nice. Guess it kinda helps. All right, now we need conveyors, lots of them. Can already t tell everything's grinding to a halt right now. Okay, let's let me do this off camera, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I got it set up. I decided to move them over here because it's gonna be a lot of conveyors to get all the way over there. All right, uh, no research, no research selected. I thought we had set something up, did we not? Um, oh yeah, we were doing that. I was trying to figure out what I was gonna do next. Uh, I have thought about the advanced power generation, but I'm not too sure about that. Uh, I think the route I was going was, was thinking about the ship engine, but I do wanna, what was this one? Oh yeah, we're gonna, that's the advanced blast furnaces and stuff like that. Let me zoom in a little bit here. 
Uh, I have thought about getting into household goods with the unity, the housing three, but that means I just have to supply it with them to give them the demand. Uh, I have thought about getting into plastics too, which might be an option, which means you have to get into electrolysis. Uh, was there anything else I wanted to do first? Uh, I was actually thinking about getting into the chickens, so maybe we'll do that. Start researching that, which has to go to uh, chicken farm. We can start researching that. Uh, I got the desalination done. Uh, I was thinking about doing naps. I'm not 100% sure if I want to get into that right now or not. Might research it just because it's there. Which means electrolysis. We'll need chlorine for something. I have no idea what. We'll figure it out eventually. Which also get into water treatment and plastics. That's where we need the naphtha and the chlorine for the plastics. Aha, of course. I would have figured it out. Okay, and then after that, we do have snacks we can get into, which are making people a little happier. Oh, that's what it was. The greenhouses. Yes. Um, in fact, I want to get the greenhouses first. Let's remove that. Cancel that. Yeah, let's do the, the greenhouse first. So we're already getting to the glass. Uh, greenhouse, and then it was... Where was it? Wheat farming? A chicken farming? Uh, money farming? Uh, no, that's not in here. Uh, and then we gotta get the research tier 4 before we go beyond here. Maybe we'll do the engine while we're at it. Then we get to the electrolysis. Plastics, and then we'll do the wastewater treatment after that as well. Uh, that gets us into more stuff we have to deal with down the road, but we'll figure that out when the time comes. Uh, oh yeah, I might as well get the nap to go on. I'm sure by the time I'm done doing what I'm doing today, this will be done, or fraction of it anyways. Do we have workers? We do. Let's get some more more people. More Another lab running. Okay, let's see how they're doing over here at the dig site. Uh, not too bad. Oh yeah, we got plenty of room. They're doing their thing. Come back there in a moment. Uh, then going okay here. Seems to be. I have had uh, backups on the gas and stuff like that. Oh yeah. Or the copper. Is this actually ran out? And I think what I'll do... Is I'll just leave it like it is for now. I was uh, I was thinking about moving the tire because I've noticed that the the trucks have a tendency to go back to the tower to find out where they're supposed to go before they actually go there. Yeah, I was uh, what was I noticing that? I was noticing that over here when I was trying to do a few things, like they would go back to the tower, realize, oh, I gotta drop this off over here, go back here. Oh, I can't drop it off there. I have to go back over here. So it was kind of. Kind of odd how it was going, and what is going on here? What is your problem? Oh yeah, you can't deliver coal there. Alright, salt's already here. Oh. Uh, that's a problem with planning mode. You gotta remember to turn it off. Alright, that is doing that. Now, rubber's done. I have doubled up the concrete. That does have a, give us some sort of buffer right now, which is really good. Now, what is the hold up here? Iron. Uh oh. What is going on with the iron? Pull out with oh. I'm sorry I'm having one of those moments. Let me figure out what's going on here. Oh, it just occurred to me. We're out of wood. And I don't have any trees left, really. I got some trees up here, but I'd have to dig my way up there. So we got to get this done. Let's actually see if there's anybody we can trade with. Get some wood. Uh, no, I've been selling all my wood to these guys. Get away. Uh, these guys. Oh, we got lots of rubber. 
Okay, yeah, that'll do this for now. And that's until we can get our port done. Now, how far down are they right now? Oh, they're getting there. What's your problem? We got five excavators, only two of them are actually digging. Oh. I see why. I thought I could have a mine and a dig area together. That's not the case. Aha. I learned something today. Oh, look at that. They're moving. Anyway. Just looking at the coal pit here. It looks like it's time to start digging another cut down here. Again, I'm going to pause this. I'm going to cancel all this mining. Just like so. And that one there. And then we're going to go down another layer. Now, it's really hard to see this. But I've been trying to keep a slope on this side here. So I can have a good idea of... Or so I can at least keep the, the slope that I'm going. Now I think I can go ahead and go down two on this one. Because they'll start at one end and just work their way this way. Uh, the way it basically works is the red will... The red shows that they can't access it from that side, so they'd have to start at the, the way it... Start the way at that end. Or start at that end and work their way this way. And that is going to get me loads and loads and loads of... Well, hopefully. Maybe they're all going to drive back here, and they're all going to start digging, and you are stuck. Oh, no you're not. Oh. Ah. That's what I was talking about. Hmm. That's a new one. Alright, let's uh, fix this little problem. And while these are doing this, I'm going to do this and I'll be back. Okay, I'm just checking on things over here and everything's actually doing really good. The desalinators are actually running pretty good. These tanks are full, which is a good sign, which means that these guys are getting water or it would be if they were actually producing. Uh, yeah, we need wood before we can get all that stuff going. But as long as I'm using fuel too, as long as I got... All these buffer tanks here, these buffer tanks here, these buffer tanks here. And if it comes down to it, I'm sure we can always sell some to the neighbors. I don't know if anybody actually needs fuel. We got a lot of it. We can buy fuel. And we can get coal, not that we need it. But yeah, there is that. Now the ship is back. Uh, I don't think it needs to be f refueled. Yeah, it does not. So... Let us explore. Let's see what's over here. Oh yeah, I did upgrade the ship radar too. That's supposed to give me a better, better range on the view. All right. Uh, let's see. These guys should be ready to start filling in now. I would think. Just about. Okay, now we have the glass over here, so now we can start going ahead and start creating, uh, getting our glass going. So again, we're going to take another mine control tower, and I think we're going to put this one digging over there, so we'll put you there. Uh, good enough area, well let's actually make this area a little bit bigger, maybe something like so. And then, yeah, we're just gonna mine this thing flat, I think. I get things out of my way. Just like so. Oh god. Oh. There we go. Alright, 
Now, I do need more excavators, which are over here. And I think they are done. Location explored. What did I find? More people. Yay. Can I explore there? Can I explore there? So let's head back home. Now we can go ahead and actually... Oh, they changed that, did they? Or maybe I just didn't notice it. Alright, so... That is done, so let's get our, our mining location out, like so. Now we turn this into a dumping area. And I said I was going to do four wide, like so. Right, now, you guys get off of here. And you go over here. Just like that. Uh, yeah, I don't need the trucks here anymore. Put them over here. It'd be nice if there would be a if there was a way to actually transfer the entire crew over. Actually I didn't need that many trucks. Okay, then now again we can take this. We get rid of the, the digging area or the, the landfill area and am I really plus one up here I have no idea oh that's what I wanted to yes now the excavator go over here they just dig all this stuff out and they're gonna fill it in here just like that Not just like that, yeah. A little bit faster. Oh, that's what happened. I clicked on that. Oh. I forgot to do something here. Go over here, because I have to actually specify you can dump all this stuff here. Rock. Uh, no, not slag. Gold ore, yes. It's dump of the gold. Sand. Dirt. And that should be good. Where are you going? Oh, wait, hold on. Export. And then you. There we go. I think everybody's figured out what they're doing. Yes. Okay, good. There's a little bit of iron there, but whatever. Alright. You are all still going good. Let's get some glass going. Actually, I need some excavators. Do I have any over here? Nope. Nope. None. None and none. I think I'll just take one off the job here, or two anyways. Go all the way back over here, and add them over here, and give them actually four trucks. Okay, what am I dumping here? Because this is another landfill site I have. Uh, hmm. Actually, no, I want to keep the rock. We're not going to dump that, we're not going to dump that, we're actually dump, dump anything here. Alright, so, what I want to do, I'm going to pause here, and, now what's going to happen is I want to get, sort of, uh, get this out of the way, because that actually doesn't need to be there. I thought the, the trucks would fill that up, and then the excavators would refill themselves up, that was a while ago, but anyway. Uh, so, glass, I need a mixer. I also need sand, I need salt. I got the salt. I got the limestone being dug out. I need sand. Uh, sand. If I can find the right machine here. There we go. Crusher. I can uh, crush rock into gravel and I crush gravel into sand. Uh, 
I need three, time, three times as many crushers from gravel to sand as I do rock to gravel. So it's going to be one rock, three gravel, and then I believe the mixer, the recipe, how was it? And I think it feeds back into two. Let me see what the, the mix recipe was on that. Uh, the mix recipe is 20 seconds for 16. So yeah, I'd be feeding two back in and it all works out through the blast furnace. So now I got to figure out how I'm going to set this up. Okay, I am back. So here's what I got. I did have a pause for the time because I was trying to figure out how I was going to lay this out. But basically the salt's coming along this line here. It's uh, crossing over the pressure is going into here. But basically... Uh, what I've got going on is I got all the rock going in here. I have all the gravel going in here. So the gravel is going through rock crushers, which turn the rock into gravel. Or the rocks going into rock crushers, which turns the rock into rock into gravel. Then the gravel goes into these ones, which come and turn into sand. Then they go into a main storage area here for the sand to hold it. And then I have a second line of second set of hopper silos whatever that I hold gravel they're going into another crusher that's creating sand which also goes into the sand containers and then I got the limestone over here and what I've done is I have the tower linked up to all four of these containers here so it's going to be taking rock gravel sand and limestone and then any dirt gets dumped over here I made a specific one just to dump dirt because I don't want any of the rock or the Gravel or anything from here going in there. Uh, we are actually going to go ahead and pause this for the time being because uh, we don't actually need the limestone at the moment because there's nowhere to put it. And uh, yeah, so then you go down, go down, down, go down here. I have everything feeding into these. So I've got the sand, the limestone, and salt all going in here, which all goes into a large storage container and it gets divided up over four blast furnaces, which go into four glass makers, which go into storage. Uh, again, both of these have slag output, so I have them hooked up to a conveyor system which goes into these silos, and this silo here should automatically dump over there, but uh, we'll go ahead and we'll connect it to there anyways. If I could dump the slag there, that is good. Okay, so we're going to let that go. Uh, the trucks are extremely busy right now. Uh, looks like we're out of mineable, mineable terrain. That's fine. I'm going to go over here and see how these guys are doing. And let's see. Yeah, they still have a little ways to go. Could use another excavator over here, to be honest. But anyways, uh, while we're doing that, I do believe we have a cruise ship, or a cargo ship to repair. And we can actually afford it, too. All right, we will do that. We'll load that up, and uh, what I want to do is I want to make. Oh, we'll finish the greenhouses. Let's actually see what we need to upgrade these things. Can we upgrade them? We can. We need a lot of glass, which we don't even have yet. Uh, what I do need is I need a whole bunch of these uh, tier two construction parts, tier three construction parts, which are being produced here. Oh, they're not. They're being produced here. And I'm missing those. Oh, we need the wood. Oh, so, yeah, we gotta we gotta get that up and running as soon as we can. Can I actually get anything from the trades? Let's check here. Uh, full storage. Yeah, so we got full wood coming we already. I can already upgrade it, but why is it only twenty? Oh, yeah. 1,000 stored, not 20 stored. I'm looking at the wrong number. Ha ha ha. Uh, yeah, so we're going to get that going. And while I was doing that, let's go out here. Continue on. And I want to try to get this, this cargo depot down as soon as I can. I want to go with the four, of course. Show me some green. Throw it right, flip it the right way. Show me some green. show anything I almost want to just bring it out to there 
Hmm. Yeah, because no matter what, I'm not going to get any green until I'm out, like, out here. Alright, well, maybe what I'll do is uh, I'll take these two excavators off the job for now, and I'll put them on the other, other side over here. And when this is all done, I'll bring you back and uh, we'll start building the glass factory. Okay, they are just about done, and uh, apparently we're low on unity here somewhere. Don't know where. What are we holding up? Oh yeah, that's right. We're out of wood. I guess I can uh, disable unity on these for now. Because we're waiting on wood. Uh, there is a few things that I have done. I'm actually going to explore another place right now. Uh, what I've done is I upgraded the, the lumber mill. So we're doing four times production right now. So where we're going, what do we find? Oh, no battle. That is good. Uh, everything has been holding up except for the wood. I haven't been able to make any pro production or anything like that. But the jetty is done. And uh, I also did uh, try upgrading reputation a little bit with these guys. And I haven't really... I think I added a new trade here somewhere, one of them. But I have no idea what it was, and we got more population. Oh, what do you know? We got no space for them. That's fine. Oh. Oh, what is this? Oh, this is the scanning. Location with enemy. It doesn't tell me what it is, though. And a quartz mine. Ooh. That's actually something we'll need. But these guys are just about done. I had to put another strip on here. I think uh, I need it for um, the cargo depot. Couple more loads here. I had to get every truck on the job for this one. Uh, did you get the couple other things researched? I can't remember what it was. It was all stuff we're going to end up using eventually anyways. And... Uh, one more. One more truck. It's a shame seeing all that iron going to the ocean. That's okay, because we got a whole bunch of it here. And... One more. One more. Come on. Oh, we have homeless people again. Of course we do. And... And there we go. So now... Cannot place in the ocean. Terrain do what? Terrain do low. Oh. Hmm. Do I have to expand this out a little bit more? Oh, I wonder if that actually has to be touching. Hmm. Alright, well, let's try something then. We'll dump, and we'll go down to... I guess about there. Come on. Don't know why it does that. And you know what? Now that I think about it, I don't think it's gonna be able, they're gonna be able to reach it. Hmm. Why is this not saying terrain too low? Cannot place in the ocean. Let me figure this out. Okay, we are almost done. I've actually checked and uh, it does actually fit. I got these guys to cut down whatever trees they could as uh, wood is a problem. And yes, for some reason, these people keep breeding like rabbits. And now I had to build two more settlements, which means food's going to be have to be a problem. But that's okay, because I think we can actually do the chicken farming now. I do believe, yes, we can get into the chicken farm and we can get the mill and start getting the flour and stuff like that. But first, we gotta get this glass going. But before we do that, we gotta get a good supply of wood coming in. 
Uh, well, excavators are not a few. Which one? Over there. And where is refueling truck? Here, what's wrong here? Oh, can you not actually reach it? Oh, apparently I have I got fuel now. I don't know why I was giving me an error on that. But I think we are done. I'll just let them finish in that last little area. I like how it sort of moves with the landscape. They'll dump it, you know, fill it up, but then it'll sort of spill over and drop down again. And I think one more. I see it in this one caved in a little bit. Almost there. And this will be it. And then I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to have everything being exported out by conveyor into sort of like a. Why are we losing immunity? Hmm. What's going on here? They're not happy about something. Water, of course. That's because we're. The, the whole system's kind of backed up at the moment. I thought about selling some of the fuel, but, you know, what am I going to get? I'm going to get coal with it. What do I do with the coal? I got nowhere to put the coal. Uh, never had anything, right? I guess we could do that. I can only sell, I can only sell so much. Uh, not you. You. But I can get coal. What all I can get? Now you won't get so much. We get some reserve. All right, we are done. So now we can go ahead and uh, make sure I'm taking the four. So what it was is it was overhanging one square. As soon as I filled it in, it did this. So I don't think it needs to have all three sides. So this is going to be all wood. So we're going to put three unit mobile. Uh, Unit storage is on there. Oh, I like the cranes. Unit module. And then this all has to be supplied with fuel. So while that's doing that, I do have the cruise ship, uh, the other cargo ship already built, done, ready to go. Uh, these guys, they're all done here. We're going to call them the digging crew. Definitely got to upgrade these things too eventually. Uh, I'll leave these control towers here and. Still losing unity. Oh, yeah. Um, these actually use a certain amount of unity a month. Why was the other one using one? I have no idea. Anyway, uh, what I'm going to do is I'll get everything running, and then uh, when I have the, all the parts ready to go to build this whole glass production thing that we were doing in the first place. Uh, bring you back and we'll see if we can get that whole time lapse thing working again. Okay, I have been here for a while, uh, waiting for everything to get built for, especially this conveyor. It was like, I didn't realize how expensive that was going to be. Uh, but needless to say, I do have uh, everything connected to this. It has already made quite a few trips already because I made so many things to build. Uh, but yeah, I have a <laughs> pipeline going all the way down there to fill up the car uh, cargo ship. I have a container conveyor going all the way to this box here. And this box is going to be filling up with wood coming from the cargo ship. And uh, since this is actually being built now, I can go ahead and take all these trucks off. Because they don't need to be there anymore. I had trouble too with uh, them not going over there to pick stuff up and bring it over here until I realized I actually had to adjust the slider to keep it full. Now it's just whatever. So anyways, uh, now to let this this number here build up considerably, uh, what I have done is I have upgraded this one to a tier 3 as well. Uh, I have boosted it. We are holding up on the Unity. So far, we're not overloaded with people, but uh, did have some water issues. I don't know if it's been held up or not. Uh, just because this whole system hasn't really been uh, properly producing. 
because, you know, salt backup and all that stuff and not much I can really do about it except for, you know, make more loose storage, but uh, I can't even build any of this until I have the parts ready, but they're going and going through pretty quick. Got that boosted, we got endless supply of wood now, the concrete's going, the iron's going. So let me get everything ready and then uh, then we'll do it. I've been driving this train Years in this lane There's no stopping this flame Cause I came to the game And I changed it to play How I like rearranged it To my own domain Yeah I got what it takes Made lots of mistakes Taking shots Skipping breaks Feeling lost Feeling great Popping off Singing straight Never stop Never changed All the squad here to play And I've got something to say Yeah I work hard each and every day I get lost in the words I say I don't push pause No I push play I won't stop till I make a change I withdraw on the things I make I turn flaws into flawless traits I build tall, never captain space I won't stop till I hear him say Again, I got tired eyes, need a cup of blend That's right, in the AM, that's my only friend No light, just the sun coming up on the horizon I lose track of time, yeah, I move fast and climb A new class divine, yeah, true passion shines And I'm through passing time, I choose stacking dimes You snooze half the time while I move passing by I work hard each and every day I get lost in the words I say I don't push pause, no, I push play I won't stop till I make a change I withdraw on the things I make I turn flaws into flawless traits I build tall, never captain space I won't stop till I hear him say Okay, there we go. We have glass. Finally. Uh, it's actually, it wasn't as easy as I thought it would be. Um, one of the things I did, have, did do, I actually I did make sure I had enough materials to actually build the whole project. And the way I did that is I used the copy mode. Go ahead and copy everything and you see the tool tip there tells me exactly how many materials I need to build it. So that was actually handy and I figured out what I needed. I was actually about half of the blue, uh, the yellow ones there. and close to having the red ones and then i realized too uh that's why there was a bit of a cut i actually forgot to take this off pause so these uh, excavators weren't actually mining i don't know why he's waiting there i guess they're only mining in the one spot i have no idea and now you're full because you have no place to put limestone all right well that's obviously gonna have to be something I deal with in the f in the future. One of the things I did think did think about doing for like mining operations like this, because it's going to be a lot of dirt and gravel and rock in there as well. I have thought about actually setting up a mining zone where it takes all this stuff, uh, mines it out and separates it into piles. So you got dirt, gravel, rock, limestone, but then you, you're getting uh, the excavators to move it twice, and you're burning fuel and. Uh, was having a, a fuel problem. This whole thing basically shut down, and I had to try to get things sort of moving a little bit. And they're starting to slowly progress. It's like that fine balance. Basically, what I did, I turned two of these off, which was a bad idea because apparently that crippled my power supply, and that more or less caused everything to come to a halt. I was running out of water. I was having water problems. I was having. Uh, steam problems i'm still having water problems but i know if i try to add more water to the system then we have a problem with that i'm also getting a backup of light oil as well which could be 
part of my problem. Like on here, I'm missing steam on the input, and here I got a full output. Now it actually makes me wonder. Oh, 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 oh! Mining zones. Gotta love them. Now let me take care of this. Okay, that should do it. I decided to go down three more layers, so we're gonna get plenty of coal. Uh, I probably could have been why everything came to a stop, why I wasn't producing any steam, because these things didn't have any fuel. And apparently I can use animal feed now too, which... Let me deal with the oil problem first before we start getting the animals involved in this one, huh? Um, by the way, I did actually have to start burning off some of sulfur just because I had nothing to do with it. Uh, we are making rubber, but there's only so much rubber we can make. As you can see, it's already out, and this, I think is the only three uh, things I have left for it. So maybe between now and the next episode, I'll probably get a little bit of centralized warehousing going. Something similar to what I got going on here, but uh, probably not as like that. I haven't figured out where I'm going to put it. Like there is things I got to think, think about. Like ideally, it'd be good to have everything here in the central part of the map. So then that way when I'm going over here to build stuff or over here that the trucks don't have to go as far instead of having to drive all the way over here. At least maybe they only have to drive here. But with that, we did make our, our own little land extension. We put our cargo port there. I love the animations on this. Look at that. For the first time ever, we're full of wood. Good. I can buy concrete bricks again. Awesome. But yeah, the, the animations are great. But with that, I think, uh, yeah, the next episode, we're probably going to get to the, the bigger machines. I already went ahead and um, upgraded this, but to make that, we got to make the Tier 2 vehicle parts, which are vehicle parts, glass, and steel. Yes, uh, fun, I know. But uh, where are they here? It was this one. No, nope, that's lab equipment. The vehicle parts. So I already have a thousand of these already, already ready to go. All I gotta do is, um, blah, 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 um, hang on, oh, I forgot about right clicking there. Uh, what do we need? We need an assembler. There we go. Tier three, tier two is electric assembler. So it's steel, or vehicle parts, steel, and glass. I think it says tier two vehicle parts. Other things that we need glass for, uh, we will need it for PCBs down the road. Yeah, I was a little shocked about that one, but it kind of makes sense because already. I've already got, I think we're all, all ready to start researching nap to now. But yeah, plastics. Uh, so PCVs, we got uh, house cult goods. Uh, lab equipment is going to be lab equipment tier 2, which was lab equipment tier 1 with liquid nitrogen. And this goes with glass to make tier 3 parts. One, yes, and then we get the household goods. We can make our people happy. And then solar cells and morphine and. Oh god, solar cells. Ooh. Solar power. Silicon wafers, go figure. Anyway, uh, as you can see. Getting low, but you're saying still 5400. Uh, but yeah, that's what I was talking about, I think. Last episode, or this earlier this episode. Uh, as I use the water, you can actually see it goes down. I don't know if you can actually see a change when it rains. But when it rains, the ground, the ground lot water groundwater level goes up. Not much because we're using a lot of groundwater. And as you can see I already have a few running off of here because you know these guys are greedy. These guys need water. And yeah unfortunately I have this huge pile of salt uh, pile of salt I need to find a use for. But what I think I'll probably end up doing is we'll probably end up building a big giant pile of salt. Why not? But anyways, I thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to leave me a like. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Later.